Hello, I just wanted to show everyone the sewing box project that I had made where I copied the ultimate sewing box that you can find for sale online. I copied their design by studying the pictures and I believe one of their website pages even has some of the dimensions. And this is what I came up with to build for my wife that is uh, similar. Uh, the front panels are need to be replaced. They, they're just simple, thin plywood veneer right now. Um, just to get the project done, that's what I put on there. But you can see it has wheels, uh, caster wheels underneath. The whole thing can roll around. Especially on a wood floor, it works really well. And we just can open up the door, the doors. Open up the doors. Step back and here you can see that it's very similar. On the left side, we have plenty of storage space. On the left side we have a fold down ironing board. On the right hand side we have this thread holder which actually can move out of the way for more storage. So this thread holder is, we bought this part and I attached it to the door. Everything else in this was built, I built it myself with wood, including the sewing drawer, sewing machine drawer. So this is the sewing machine drawer and it slides out and you can see it has a rear panel that you pull out and push down to lock in place. So it can't move in anymore and it's just drawer slides heavy duty drawer slides the one thing that I don't have that they do have on the ultimate sewing box is some they have some legs that come from here down to the floor I don't have those so it can move a little bit now it actually doesn't um, bother it very much unless you're running the sewing machine really full speed then you'll get some shaking, but not much. It's really not that bad doing normal sewing. So you see the sewing machine sits in here and it's flush with this top surface. Get some of these projects out of the way. This top surface actually pulls out. And I wanted to show you as well, we have a couple pockets to store some stuff there. But this whole machine can come up and out and sit on top and the way you do that is you you would leave this in, you take the machine, you, well obviously you take this out so you can get the machine out, put this back in, and then there's this an additional insert that looks like this that can go over on this side to fill in where the machine normally would have gone and now the sewing machine can sit on top. So if you're sewing something like armholes or such, you can take the machine up and out. Here is the ironing board that folds down. It has the legs that they fold out to support it when it's down. So I'll just show you. I'll pull it. I might as well go ahead and pull it down, I guess. There's a couple of hooks to hang things on. So we unfold that. Oh, there we go. So there's the ironing board unfolded. And the way the ironing board attaches, it actually uses a couple dowel pins as hinges. So we have this dowel pin that it rotates on. So that took a little bit of extra effort to make sure that uh, everything was dimensioned correctly and measure three times, drill once, essentially. These drawers are actually fastened in place. We decided we didn't need adjustments, so they are pocket hole screwed in place. The only ones that can move around are the main storage ones. You can see we have the little pins that these drawers sit on, that these sit on with some holes extra holes 
that you can move them around if you if you need to get a little bit more room. The only thing this doesn't have right now is an extra light, which I really need to add because I have a hard time seeing um, without extra light. So as you see, each door has caster wheels so it can swing out. There's plenty of storage space and as you can see it's pretty full already, but it all folds up and out of sight. So that is the sewing station that I built duplicating the basic design of the Ultimate Sewing Box. They sell theirs for about $2,800. I built this, I think it was about $350 for everything including stain and all the hardware, like the drawer slides, everything, all together. Um, and it's all made out of real wood. It's not the melamine particle board stuff. And, and it's also not just white, it's a nice dark stain color. So I thought I would share that with everyone. Thanks for watching.